It is a women's bantamweight showdown between Sarah McMahon and Leslie Smith. Well, this woman has frightening knockout power. That's the only way in which to describe it. She'll be looking to find a home for those heavy hands. We'll work the body at times, but the book on her is that she is a headhunter, not a fighter you want to enter into a slugfest with, I can assure you of that. This woman has frightening knockout power. Absolutely thunderous power behind both her punches and her kicks. She is a real threat to knock anyone out in this division. Born in Tacoma Park, Maryland, now training out of Revolution MMA in Gaffney, South Carolina. Here is the Bantamweight contender, Sarah McMahon. She challenged Ronda Rousey for the title, won an Olympic silver medal in freestyle wrestling back in 2004. A lot of high-level competition for Sarah McMahon as she enters the octagon here tonight. This girl has some of the best takedown defense I've ever seen inside the octagon. She's so good at stuffing takedowns and punishing her opponents that she actually discourages takedown attempts. One of the best in the business at stuffing takedowns. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. Smith is 35. McMahon is 37. Smith is three inches taller. The reach is identical. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LaVey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> This woman is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 10 wins, 7 losses, and 1 draw. She stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Pleasant Hill, California, USA, Leslie, the Peacemaker And now we're producing an opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 11 wins, 5 losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Gaffney, South Carolina, Sarah McMahon. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go down right now. Here we go. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice punch by Smith. Kick to the body by Sarah McMahon. Smith gets lit up by that straight punch. Nicely done here in the early going with the takedown. Full guard here. Adjust nicely, but in half guard now. How good is that, Joe? She postured up and landed the brutal strike to the head. Now she's in full guard. Trying to spin to the back. In 
inside control once again. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Hammer fist. Big elbow there. Powerful right hand. She's moved into side control. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Two minutes to go in round one. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Oh, that's a good strike there by McMahon. Little ground and pound here. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. And got full mount. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Postures up. Excellent movement here on the ground. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Nice. Excellent ground and pound there by Sarah McMahon. Seconds to go in this one. Pretty nice leg kick there, Joe. Good work on the feet by Smith. And she completes a single leg takedown. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Let's see some of the action here. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Very exciting round. The OG Ariane Celeste in the building with us tonight. Nice punch. Oh, wow, Joe. Head kick lands flush. Big power shot there. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Nice takedown. That's a clean left hand. Punch from the bottom. She's got that arm trap showing good defense. She's in full mount again. Big punch from the bottom. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. Big punch from the top. Inside control here. Just over three minutes now to go. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Back to side control. Excellent movement here on the ground. Some good punches from the top here. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Postures up here. She's now working from side control. Now she's in half guard. Knees are coming. She's in the mounted crucifix now. She's now established side control again.
Trying to take the back here. Into side control again. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Twenty seconds to go round two. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. And she connects there. And that's the end of round number two. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Big round. The beautiful Jenny Andrade to get us going. Underway. She landed the head kick there. Oh, how good is her jab, Joe? She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. She gets it to the ground with a throw. Trying to spin to the back. Side control again. Smith's eye really starting to swell now. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Inside control once again. Excellent movement here on the ground. Now the hammer fist here by McMahon. She's moved into side control. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Side control. Ooh. Big right hand. Back to side control. Body shot, shot body. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Working from side control. She's moved back to north south again. Ninety seconds now to go in this one. Tries to pass from full guard to half guard, but can't. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here, you'd like to see that, Joe. Strike there by McMahon. 30 seconds to go. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Smith. Connects with the punch there. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Here's a perfect head kick. Excellent strike here, lands on target. 
And there's some devastating judo. Jenny Andrade to get us going. Scheduled for five five minute rounds. Oh, oh, nice jab. Oh, huge right hand. This could be it right here. Oh, straight right. Well, overall, her striking has been sharp tonight. She has landed some good shots, but more often than not, Joe, she's been one and done. As yet, unable to string together significant combinations. And it's gonna take a good combination to really put her opponent in harm's way. Let's see how she chooses to attack here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Smith. Lands a punch. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. And here's a nice right hand. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse for her, Joe. Hammer fist. <laughs> Tried to move from half guard into side control, denied. Big shot from the bottom. She's showing some good defense here, keeping control of that arm. Reversal, very nice. She's now working from side control. And moves to north-south. Just over two minutes to go. Anaconda choke. She's got that choke locked in. Look at that, that is high level ground game there. Getting tighter. Outstanding. Outstanding. Got caught in the choke, didn't want to tap, and went to sleep. Yeah, Joe, near perfect execution tonight. And when you talk to a lot of fighters, to a man, to a woman, they would rather go to sleep than tap out. And that's exactly how it played out here tonight. She just couldn't deal with the high-level technique of her opponent on the ground. And ultimately, she chose to pass out as opposed to tap out. You admire the toughness, but this is a tough result for her to digest here tonight. And it's over before she even gets a chance to tap. Well, she couldn't have drawn it up any better than that as she gets the win by submission tonight. Big win and an even bigger statement made to the rest of this division. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of round number four. For the winner by submission, Sarah. How good was that as you get to see her now celebrating with her coaches and training partners? She really put an added focus on getting a submission win here tonight, or at least getting a finish. But she said, I got to figure out a way to leave the judges out of it. I don't want to go to the scorecards. I need to get a finish to take my career to that next level. And a submission win like this will certainly go a long way in doing just that. She has certainly set herself up for a high-profile opponent now moving forward.